Hello everyone, this is Movie and Game Lover 98, and today I'll be doing a DVD review on this Thomas and Friends DVD, the first one to have season 17 episodes on DVD, and that's called Railway Mischief. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So basically, here's what the front of the DVD looks like. The history on Railway Mischief, it was first released on April 9th, 2013, exclusively only at Walmart, and he get the first run with the slip cover, and then it was released a year later in April 2014, but it's the same version, but it just doesn't have a slip cover, and it can be found at all stores. And yeah, I think it was even re-released again by Universal. So yeah, that was the history on this release. Now let's get into the actual review. So basically, here's what the front of the DVD looks like. If mine had a slipcover, it would say new never before seen adventures because this was the first one to introduce season 17 to the audience. The Thomas Friends logo, the Rowing Mischief logo, and Thomas and Gordon getting covered in mud and they're all surprised at something. Anyway, here's the front. Here's the spine with the portrait of shocked Thomas from the front. And distributed by Lionsgate because this is the original Lionsgate release from 2013 and it's the same one if you bought it at any store back in 2014 but just doesn't have the slip cover. Anyway, here's the back. The Toss Runs logo again. Cinders and Ashes. Yeah, Cinders and Ashes. And the barcode, yeah. It has some pen writing because I got this from the train convention last year, 2020. Yeah, I think that was just a pen writing on the outer sleeve. I, I don't know how I'm going to get that off. Anyway, signal right there. Your blurb out's on the DVD. And Thomas with that same shock face from the front. But Scruff is now next to him, but he's happy for some reason. Anyway, and the episodes contain Gordon Runs Dry, Kevin's Cranky Friends, Scruff's Makeover, Wayward Winston, and Steamy Stafford. And yeah. And also, forgot to mention, this is the first DVD to have Mark Morgan as the narrator after Michael Brandon left. Anyway, bonus features contain Sodor Hide and Seek game that was previously released on Pop Goes Thomas. And another music video now on DVD finally, ever since the, that classic series song, which I'm not going to say it, the All You Need Are Friends music video. Finally, it got released onto DVD. Kind of like how we got the Never 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 Give Up song finally on DVD on The Greatest Stories. Fun activities with Driver Perkins, who is getting ready to do the annual Sodor Engine Driver soccer match. And he has to fill in for Mr. Arkwright, of course. And guess who puzzles? Anyway, link to the Thomas Friends website, legal copy information down at the bottom, and this is about 56 minutes long. Yeah, because the previous two were 58 minutes, but this one has five episodes after all. Anyway, here's the disc, squished up version of the poster art as always. And what's this? It's a Calling All Engines, Take and Play, 2013 Collector Poster. And you got Thomas, Percy, and James, and a season 12 Sir Tom had, even though this is the first Andrew Brenner series DVD. Hey, wait. Oh, hold on a second. Look, you have an advertisement for all the Take and Play, because you know this was back when Take and Play was still around before it got rebranded to Adventures, and then the crappy Trackmaster push along. Which, obviously, this is expired. I can't use this anymore. Because I got this used from the train convention last year, 2020, after all. And on the other side... This is cool. Map of Sodor. Yes, Steamworks right there and all the other places. And you can use this as, like, a play mat if you want. If you have taken play trains, which I don't have them anymore. Oh, yep. All folded up. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah, this is a nice DVD. It was the first one to have season 17 episodes on DVD. And yep, it's the first one to have Mark Morgan as the narrator. And yeah, all these episodes are nice because, you know, this is the era that everyone wanted Thomas to be good again. And this made their wish come true. And, you know, they're nice, the episodes. Gordon Runs Dry, where Gordon doesn't want to listen to Paxton after... He did notice the, the stone hit his boiler, and he started to run out of steam. And 
and another episode that no one wants to listen to someone else, Kevin's Cranky Friend, where Cranky doesn't want Kevin's help, but he kept causing too much mischief around the docks, and Kevin tried his best, and then Cranky tried to tell Sir Tom Hat it was his fault all along. Anyway, Scruff's Makeover, where Scruff tries his best to stay clean as possible without getting dirty after he got a brand new coat of paint and he sparkled nicely. Yeah, I just wish he would stay clean, but I guess he doesn't like to stay clean because it's just part of the job, even though it's hard work and getting dirty is part of doing hard work. Anyway, Wayward Winston, where... I think this is another episode where Sir Tom Hat drives Winston. Because, you know, a lot of people say, yes, he's terrible at driving Winston. Well, this one, Winston gets the dream when he rolls on his own without Sir Tom Hat. Because, I don't know why Sir Tom Hat would tell, no, Winston, excuse me, that it was his fault. Because he forgot to put on the brakes, Sir Tom Hat. And, yeah, that kind of puts me in mind of the episode from Season 5, Busy Going Backwards, when Toad ran backwards all on his own. And yeah, anyway, and the last episode, Steamy Stafford, where Stafford wants to make steamy sounds like Thomas and Percy, so he just makes them himself, only to realize when he was collecting Farmer McCall's sheep, he, he scared them with his steamy sounds, and he realized puffing quietly was the only way to find the sheep. And Stafford decided to go back to being himself after that. Yeah, being his usual self, being a silent electric engine who runs on battery. And anyways, yeah. This is a nice Thomas DVD to have for all the Thomas and Friends audiences out there, or fans in general, because it's the first one to use Andrew Brenner episodes, and it's the first one to have Mark Morgan as the narrator. Yes, because starting from this season up to the 21st season... This would be Mark Morgan's time to do the narration. So yeah, anyways, if you don't have Railway Mischief on DVD, I definitely recommend it. You should check it out. So anyways, yeah. If you don't have Railway Mischief on DVD, everyone, I say you pick this release up. So anyways, yeah. That's going to be it for this DVD review, everyone, on Railway Mischief. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below this video. And be sure to leave a good comment on what you think of this release. So anyways, yeah, that's going to be it for this DV review, everyone, on Railway Mischief. So yeah, that's going to be it for this review, everyone. So stay tuned for more videos coming possibly soon, and hopefully they'll have a lot of things to show as always. And hopefully I'll be able to answer to your comments in those videos too.